forget how to use these programs so fast. Um, I would use something like this so we can go like, oh, let's create a, a new sketch on this floor plane here. And then we're going to, with our sketches, we'll make a little rectangle here. And here's where you can type in like, oh, okay, I want this to be exactly however many millimeters on here. And then when you go in here, we can make like a circle sketch here and another one here. And then you could just type in 15 millimeters and then go ahead and put that on there and it's perfect. Uh, then we can stop the sketch and then here we can go like, let's push pull this thing up. And you want this to go up 50 millimeters? No, I want it to go up 25 millimeters. Boom. And then you can go through here and you can modify. We can do a fillet. We'll fillet this one like so. And then we can um, chamfer this other one here. And it's like 10 millimeter chamfer. No, I want to do a four millimeter chamfer. Okay. That's really precise. And you know what? Let's also do, I could have done this in the sketch as well, but we can also do multiple here. And we can say a five millimeter fillet on here. Beautiful. And then we could maybe even, let's see if we can do this. It's been a while since I've been in here too. I need to get back into practice here. Five millimeter here. Okay, so this is a very, very precise uh, object here with mil down to the millimeter here. So if I take this thing here and we go into our bodies here and let's say we want to save as STL refinement, we can put on a high refinement, but you can also do, uh, you can drop this down to like say three on your normal deviation. That'll make it very, very refined. We'll go to desktop here, test STL, and then we can go into ZBrush. And then we can go into Z plugin, 3D print hub, import STL file from your desktop. And now we have a very precisely scaled and you know, whatever. And then if you go in here to export, you're gonna see the scale is set to 66.6289. And if you go to geometry, <clears throat> you're gonna see that size is set to XYZ size is set to two. So ZBrush, when it brings stuff in, it likes to set the uh, XYZ size to two so that it works with all the, uh, the ZBrush stuff that goes on, all the tools you use in ZBrush, and then on export, it multiplies that by your scale size. So that will, it should, when I export this, match what we had in Fusion 360. So that's what I would do. If I needed to be super precise, I'd probably do that.